I'm Melinda Marciano with The Truth 365. This is day two of our campaign. The Truth 365 is a documentary and social media campaign that gives a voice to all children fighting cancer. Every night until September 23rd, we will post a short preview video that provides more details about the project. On Sunday, September 23rd at 9 p.m. Eastern, we will release the main film, The Truth 365. Day 2 Preview Social Media – Turning Awareness into Action We intend to harness the power of social media to make things better for children with cancer. We recently had the opportunity to test this concept in a real-life situation. We asked ourselves the following question. Can children with cancer connect with a social media audience and get them to act on their behalf? 13-year-old Talia Castellano is the first person we interviewed for The Truth 365 back in June of 2012. Talia is no stranger to the camera, but she's usually filming herself. I like it for placing a kind of like a cut crease. Whoa, did you see my eyes just now? They're like crossed. For over a year, she has been creating makeup tutorials and other videos and posting them on YouTube. Just by being herself, she has built a huge social media following. When we interview kids for our film, we often ask questions unrelated to cancer to find out more about them and their interests. It was her answer to one of these questions that resulted in this video. If I can do anyone's makeup in the whole entire world, it would be probably Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. Why? I don't know, because I, I want to meet her in general, but she's so beautiful. Like, her skin is just so amazing, and she always has really natural makeup on, so I would like to, like, doll her up. Talia posted the video on her YouTube channel and Facebook page and the response was huge. It received over 100,000 views in the first couple of days and Ellen's Facebook page and website were flooded with messages from Talia's fans. So did the campaign work? Take a look. Here's something else that my viewers have been sending me. I got a lot of emails and Facebook posts about a girl named Talia. Six years ago, Talia was diagnosed with cancer. She is 13 years old and she is an aspiring makeup artist and she said it was her dream to meet me. And so, of course, then it became my dream to meet her too. So please welcome Talia. So did The Truth 365 get Talia on The Ellen Show? No. Did Talia get herself on The Ellen Show? Not quite. It was the thousands of people who took action and contacted Ellen who got Talia on The Ellen Show. The Truth 365 was simply the spark that got things started and that's our goal with this film. To help jumpstart funding for childhood cancer research. But you are the key to our success. We need you and all of your friends to stand up and say that kids with cancer deserve to have safer and more effective treatment options. Without your voice, nothing will change and more children will die. With your voice, there is hope for a better future. To close out day two, we will leave you with a few more clips from our project. Uh, obviously, I knew that children had cancer and I knew that children got sick, but I didn't know anybody that it had happened to. So my frame of reference was so small and so, uh, you know, 
uh, just uh, non-existent. I didn't realize what was out there, what the money was, who was funding or who was doing research. You just, I guess, you just kind of assume that people are doing it. And once we found ourselves in that world, we realized that, yeah, the, the funding's not there. People don't understand that. They don't realize it. Um, and it's, it's dramatic. The, the lack of funding is truly d dramatic. It really goes towards adult cancers and uh, not towards children, and it's heartbreaking. I was drafted into the issue of pediatric cancer. My son Jacob was eight and a half years old when all of a sudden one day he started vomiting and having headaches in the morning. We thought it was nothing or a way to avoid school, and we learned after six weeks that it was a brain cancer. He was diagnosed on a Sunday. He had a surgery Monday morning, and he was never the same afterwards. And what I learned through watching Jacob's treatment and watching him really suffer for two years is that there's just there's no drug development for pediatric cancer, and there are no new drugs for our kids. So when Jacob died at age 10, I started Kids Versus Cancer. He died on a Tuesday, and Wednesday morning I put my computer on the dining room table and uh, opened it and started working. As parents who lose a child, I think not that it becomes the most important thing, but one of the important factors is remembering your child and continuing his legacy and exposing his life and making sure um, I hold him close to my heart and, and I I don't ever want to not acknowledge his life and the purpose of it. And uh, if he can get the ball rolling or create some sort of momentum with his videos and his photographs and his personality and what he went through, uh, that would be phenomenal. I've been given the gift to be one of the people who can speak for our community and can organize our community around certain specific policy objectives and I'm so proud of our community. We are a very effective community but what we need to do is we need to, we're a very small community and we're a very engaged community but now we need to broaden, we need to reach out to people who aren't immediately touched by pediatric cancer. Not only parents and grandparents and siblings but friends and neighbors and just people in our children's schools. We, we, if they were able to get involved and they were willing to be involved it would just um, make our community, you know, a hundredfold bigger and it would just make our voice so much stronger. A lot of celebrities talk about bullying and how we need to stop bullying, but in a lot of people's eyes and in my eyes, childhood cancer is the biggest bully out there and, you know, we need to stand up to bullies and think raising money and finding more money to find the cure can probably defeat the bully.